Okay friends, let's start admin panel coding. We will try to fetch our product attribute and try to edit them. We try to fetch this. Mm, uh, let's suppose you have product listing and admin want to change product and it's uh products pro properties okay for that just go to resources view admin and edit product okay here okay i want to create a panel first for that I will copy this okay. and positive and let's say this is your heading Uh, let's say it's your properties and you want to display here okay and call md uh, for or you can use this also remove this yeah i will not spending more time on designing so that's why i am going to back php okay guys uh, let's say you have this div copy this again for large box okay and paste here here i will display uh, first of all table uh, table class table let's say table responsive yeah and close table let's say uh, size copy one for price one for color here color okay and close our tr start new tr and here close tr and tr uh, let's say all spent three and align uh, right hrf no i need input type submit class pdn again success okay yeah i think i need this to here okay uh, right here update
value say okay you have not here uh, let's change it input input type name size value uh, this time empty we will make it dynamically okay copy paste here and change the name color and here be price price of properties according to your property price okay and alignment okay let's see how it's look yeah you have this uh, for that make a size it uh, let's say for size for but color have a more digest like a blue black so that for use a 15 let's see how it's look yeah, it's better it's better now you can use five also and six also let's see how it's look it's look good okay and call your product properties from table but first of all you need to check something you are fetching right product or not for that um, let's start php and try to echo you have for each copy this and if i try try to fetch id it will not display this big error for that uh, let's say this yeah now you have a three id id three three okay and uh, yeah you are not uh, let's say you have a product id so call it pid it's a very variable make a query query variable name be course you can choose any name for variable so don't worry table and products mm, let me copy sometime i am mistaken in spelling so copy this and paste here okay it's now so where where product id equal to pid okay and get if i try to display this data let's say rods refresh or something missing yeah you can see you have a data okay mm, 
for testing just all different products uh, now 25 and chain 35 70 and back to 3 is 11 and 29 so it's correct working fine now just start for each call it port okay and and for each copy the size copy this in the actual value this time color and price okay let's see yeah right okay uh, here is button actually you don't need this button okay just remove this button okay and call it update properties nice let me make look more good and copy this and let's say update product image let's see how it's look uh, it's bad because uh, i forget to close a div <laughs> yeah it's nice you can use big image as well as responsive uh, let's say how it's look it's look very large i don't like this it's nice and let's say you want to add more for that in the last video i create a root for this at admin properties uh, this one okay uh, where your for each is close make a new new tr with postman 3 and make a hrf okay. hrf add more and the last btn btn info let's see how it's look yeah it's nice mm, something missing i don't need here i think it will be good here yeah it's nice cool all right again your pixel color 
वाइट इट्स नॉट गुड लेट्स से व्हाट इज आई थिंक माइनस फाइव इज ओके Five pixel is okay. Okay, six. Okay, nice. Uh, same for that. Copy and slow cut. Okay, guys. Uh, let's continue the further. We need to specify form for add this in our properties table. Up update. We need update query. Mm. For that. let me see if we have a add properties and this is form here's your for each is starting please here just edit it add it Okay, and your root. Mm, uh, let's say you have a add properties. Mm, no, here. You change it. Add it. properties okay and go to your <clears throat> add me okay made it new and rename it edit let's say mm. all i want to display all data okay uh, just close your web to php and here you have a size name color and you need product id also for that just copy this not td and pro id here pro id let's see how it look Okay, now you have a property. Mm, I think you want one more thing. Actually, we need let me write in comment id pro id from table okay and let's refresh and uh,
HTML comments. Okay. Mm. If I refresh, if I click particular row, it will display your data. Let's say uh, it's not. Not. Let me check this. Yeah, you have this ID, and it will just display this ID. Okay, ID property. Refresh. Click here. Nothing happened. For that, let's do one more thing. Is submit is found go to your root and here your root and uh, let's say edit property right hmm. For that to add it here. Okay. Yes. Refresh. If I click here, it's your particular row ID. Okay. If I click here, it's second ID. You can match your values. Just make it hidden. Okay. And yeah, for that, just go here. Make it hidden. Okay, now admin just update your value. Oh, let's show you how it works. Go to your controller. Okay, just make comment it. Mm, update props. Table. Table name is where you need two conditions where row ID and request here your row ID. Okay. Second condition here simple ID request and update quest. We need to add a token uh, so. I am saying accepted. Accepted token. Okay, return. Check. Return back with same message updated let's try to update okay refresh we don't need this dark wallet same time open your view of this same particular product so product id is 3 here you have two colors Excel dark wallet. We need to edit this and edit its price. And let's say I need blue. Okay, and price this time 33. Save it. Okay, it's save. 
let's see in the front end refresh excel uh, it's not it is it's not uh, Oh, we are something is wrong. Let's see if it's. If I refresh and trying to where is error? Okay, this was extra bracket. Okay, uh, just refresh error. Uh, error because I think I need to check value passing for that just comment this thing and open this let's see refresh uh, and click is oh my word we are not passing ID we need this id this okay this one id we need to pass here for that it will be work when i pass the id okay go to your edit and here your id refresh we will check here sorry uh, let's say product detail 13 we need to check here okay mm, for that try again and blue we need to add blue add for excel save it uh, now it's excel blue refresh select excel it's blue and 33 okay it's working fine uh, just we need to uh, I want to add a my messy display for that I am using my session message for that uh, let's say I have a product add product add admin header no no category added product okay uh, index uh, let's check me on this Laravel, Laravel session message. Okay. Let's see. Let's have a session message. Actually, you don't need this. we need something else in our here mm, let's say you have message I think I have a message here yeah update message let's again refresh 
and try to fetch the error message okay before that we need to add a set message and and if refresh error why what is error mm, i think change the value mm, for that we need to add check value again okay edit product and here's your message 